Not a classic by any stretch of the imagination there, was it? But Man United, 2-1 winners against Brighton. 1-0 down, of course, it had to be Danny Welbeck. Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood, though. Two academy products getting the goals that give United the three points. A crucial three points, because after that international break, we went into that international break after that game against Leicester. And it was dead. United looked dead. And nothing really changed in the first 45 minutes of that game. It was awful. United second to every ball. United tempo wasn't there. Brighton, decent goal. But wan he's been doing this a lot this season, I would say. Uh, certainly, I remember Leipzig. Not Leipzig. Was it Leipzig? Yeah, it was Leipzig. Uh, when away in the Champions League, when the ball comes over the top from across, he doesn't really have the awareness for the man behind him. Lindelof, he probably could have won the header, but poor goal for United to concede that. And it was just a game where, when we went into this international break, I was really excited for the international break because I thought United had been just running on fumes. And I was hoping that these, this two-week break would have given United a bit of time to recuperate, to regain some energy levels and to bring that into the football that we're playing. And we did not do that for the first 45 minutes and we didn't really do it until Marcus Rashford's goal. And it was the moment of quality where the ball moved quickly. Bruno Fernandes, by the way, that was a ridiculous tackle on Bruno Fernandes. How did that just sort of escape Mike Dean? How did that not get punished with at least a yellow? It was terrible. But Marcus Rashford's finish wasn't terrible. Properly opened his body up side-footed into the opposite corner. That's the sort of clinical finish that we've all want to see more of from Rashford. He's great when he puts his laces through it, when he doesn't really have time to think, but in, in situations like that, Rashford, I would say, typically, a lot of the times this season, hasn't delivered. He delivered with that finish. And Rashford clearly was not fit for that game today. I think Rashford's got a bit of Rooney about him, in that he'll always play for the team, no matter whether or not he's fully fit. And I think that show today, and I think Brighton knew that was happening. That's why they doubled up, tripled up on him. At times, he couldn't run through them. And I think United knew that Rashford, you could kind of see it in how we were playing. We weren't really playing it too often to him. But up until that goal, United, it, it was a very lacklustre performance. And I wouldn't say it significantly changed after that, but at least the tempo went up a little bit. And it was that ball in from Pruna. I'm going to say that Paul Pogba completely and utterly meant that pass for Mason Greenwood and Mason Greenwood a diving header finish really happy for him after what has been a personally very tough season for Greenwood for him to come there in the first game back after the international break and to get the goal that seals the comeback who knew that United would go 1-0 down and actually turn it around like we have done so often this season maybe not at home I think three times we've gone 1-0 down at home this season and three times we've lost the game so that in itself is a bit of progress but Brighton are clearly a very well structured team you know, they've had some excellent results and performances this season against Liverpool, against City. So they're not exactly, there's, well, there are no bankers in the Premier League anyways. But it would be a disservice to say that Brighton, United would be completely expected to win today. But we did win. And I think we probably won, I think it would be fair to say, we weren't very good. For the large, for large majority of that game, we were not very good. I found it a bit strange, really, the, the Fred Pogba dynamic. Let me know what you think about that in the middle, but... I don't know. And I, 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 well, you know my feelings on United signing a defensive midfielder and how important I think it is for United to do that in order for us to have a proper shape next season. There's so many examples. There's so much footage you can look through that when watching United, how much better we would be if we had a proper defensive midfielder. And I think today was another example of that. Uh, but until that happens in the summer, whether or not it does happen, let's find out. But Paul Popper was, you know, the game passed our midfield by quite a bit and the, the game passed a lot of our players by for quite a lot of it but at the same time we've come out of that 2-1 winners in a weekend where Chelsea got absolutely pumped by West Brom Spurs drop points happy days and United now can go into Thursday which is look we've effectively secured top four this season uh, already because of that game against West Ham where I think we went nine points clear of fifth we gave ourselves that real buffer zone uh, and now this game against Granada, United had to be considered clear favourites to go through to the Europa League semi-finals. And the opportunity to win a trophy this season, it certainly cannot be underestimated for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because until he, he does that and, and he sort of shrugs off and just gets the monkey off his back and he gets that first title for as a United manager, 
there are always going to be question marks because we've lost plenty of semi-finals under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And going into that Granada game, United needed to make sure we had some sort of positivity. I don't think we can really look at that whole performance with a with a big beaming smile, uh, but we can look at the result with a big beaming smile. And that ultimately, at the crucial point of the season, when you get to this point in the business end, it's all about the results. It really, really is. It does not matter how it's done. Sure, it might make it more enjoyable to watch, but as long as that result is there, that's all people are going to talk about. That's all people are going to remember. And look at that, my, my, my man of the match today. I who, who, who be your man of the match? I think Edison Cavani, how many times did he touch the ball? Four or five? My God, the game passed him by. Not because he had a terrible individual performance, but it's just how United were playing. Not getting the balls into the middle, not getting into positions because with Lewis Dunk there, Brighton were very strong in their defence. But ultimately, it was the moment. Bruno with another assist. And again, a game where I would say Bruno was not at his best, but Bruno delivered with an assist. Pogba delivered with an assist. And Rashford and Greenwood they got the goals to turn the game around. As I said, we've seen it so often from United this season where you're 1-0 down, it's in the 50, 50, 50th minute. You're looking at it going, where is this comeback going to come from? Where? And then out of nowhere, an individual moment of brilliance can sort of change how United are playing and United shape and United get a bit more tempo about them. I don't know whether it's a confidence thing. I don't know what it is. But at least we won today. And going into the Granada game, there has to be a match. Look, I always want to see United control the game, lead the game from the front on the front foot, control the tempo. And I thought, look, the last first 15 minutes of that game against Brighton there, we were in control of it, for sure. But then Brighton, they went and scored with their first attempt. Was it a bad jump by Lindelof? I think he did mistime it a little bit. But it was certainly poor from Wan-Bissaka. Henderson made a good save, but unfortunately, the ball bounced straight back onto Welbeck. It had to be Welbeck, didn't it? It had to be Welbeck. But it bounced straight back onto Welbeck's head. Ultimately, that doesn't matter because United got two goals. We came from behind. And I'm interested to see if, look, I saw the exact same pattern in that game that I saw against Leicester. I saw in the weeks building up to the international break where United, would, we just seemed a bit tired. We seemed a bit slow, a little bit one or two yards off the pace. And I don't think I saw anything there really today that tells me otherwise. It tells me that pattern has changed. That's a little bit worrying. And we've got Granada on Thursday, then we've got Spurs on Sunday. And at this point of the season, you're going to start getting the games thick and fast again. The international break's gone out of the way in between now and May. It's going to be three games a week from now on. So let's see how United can cope with that. We overcame adversity today because we weren't at the races. Rashford clearly wasn't fit. Edison Cavani didn't get any service. Mason Greenwood, he played well. Probably I might give it to Mason Greenwood, that man in the match. I'm not sure. I think Maguire and Lindelof largely played pretty well, apart from Lindelof with that uh, sort of jump. Shaw, again, the guy's in just such sensational sensational form, sorry. It just, he just continues. He's, he's a, he feels like Dennis Irwin right now. Proper like 7 out of 10 every single game. The, 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 the levels don't really drop off significantly. Wan-Bissaka... Oh, you know what I've said about his defending, which was poor. But ultimately, three points in the bag. That's the sort of performance. That's the sort of game that was. Was It weren't really that many talking points apart from the patterns, as I said, that we saw before the international break. I think we saw them again there, but we won. So ultimately, that's all that matters. But now let's see what happens in the next few days building up to Granada. But we have to certainly make sure that we beat Granada. Going into the Spurs game of the weekend, that's a different kettle of fish, fish sorry, because we've given ourselves such a big gap in the Premier League, we can take our eye off it a little bit. We can maybe rest a couple of players ahead of Europa League games instead of Premier League games. We can have a different focus. But who was your man of the match? What's your reaction to that? The international break is over. United have got three points on a weekend where Chelsea got steamrolled by West Brom. Spurs dropped points. So you've got to be happy about both of those. But let me know who your man of the match was and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Till next time though, take it easy.